Why did Baylor choose Jim Grobe? A 2012 letter from Grobe and Wake Forest Athletic Director Ron Wellman explaining why eight Demon Deacon players were suspended probably tells you everything you need to know. It reads, quote, Coaches are teachers. Everyone in our program takes that role very seriously. A primary goal is to develop our players for life after school and football. The hardest decisions a coach has to make are those that may sacrifice winning a game in order to teach a player that making good decisions and caring for others are more important. Winning is very important, but it will not be pursued at the expense of our integrity. Now think of that while you remember what happened at Baylor. Yes, Jim Grobe is exactly the kind of leader that football program needs right now. But he also has a track record as a fantastic coach. When we come out of here now, at the end of this game, I want everybody that's seen us play to say that's the hardest playing football team I've ever seen. Let's go to work. Go, 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 go. Grobe led the Deeks to six wins over ranked teams, including taking out Phillip Rivers and the Wolfpack in 2003. In the 20 years before Grobe arrived, Wake Forest had exactly one win over a ranked team. In 2006, the Demon Deacons shut out Bobby Bowden's Florida State Seminoles. Longtime ACC reporter Jerry Ratcliffe shared this Monday, Bowden once told me that the best coach in the ACC is that guy up there at Wake Forest. He was talking about Jim Grobe. 2006 was a dream season. The Demon Deacons came out of nowhere to win the school's first ACC title in 36 years. What a great, great win, not only for Wake Forest, but for you guys. For a team that's picked last to start the year, what a great, great win. I couldn't be more proud of you. Over the years, Grove reportedly passed up opportunities at Nebraska and Arkansas. Alabama had interest before it hired Nick Saban. But Grove remained loyal to Wake Forest because, well, that's who he is. He was proud of what he had built. And the Wake Forest community could be proud too. Baylor needs Jim Grove right now.